Setiap pasangan sudah pasti pernah merancang untuk memiliki beberapa orang anak pada satu-satu masa. Memang benar bahawa anak merupakan kurniaan yang paling berharga buat kita. Namun lain pula keadaannya jika anda mempunyai masalah kewangan ataupun kekangan daripada sudut kesihatan. Hal ini menjadi perdebatan masyarakat dunia dan juga masyarakat setempat. Dan terdapat juga pihak yang mengatakan bahawa kaedah family planning adalah tidak boleh digunakan kerana menganggap bahawa kaedah ini seolah-olah menidakkan rezeki daripada Tuhan. Dari sudut-sudut yang lain pula, kita seharusnya faham dan mengerti bahawa kaedah family planning ini merupakan salah satu kaedah perubatan yang menjadi keperluan kepada golongan-golongan tertentu. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Saya Muhammad Sakif, pengacara anda dalam rancangan dokumen cari ejen halal. Kali ini ejen halal akan mengupas dan membincangkan mengenai isu family planning dan juga penggunaan pil perancang dalam keluarga. Untuk ketahui dengan lebih lanjut dan terperinci lagi, saksikanlah paparannya sebentar lagi. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Nur Hidayah binti Daud. Dalam video ini, saya memegang watak sebagai wartawan yang bernama Hidayah di mana saya akan menemubual seseorang untuk mengetahui dengan lebih lanjut apa itu pil perancang. Apa yang cik faham tentang family planning? So, di sini kita nak explain dan kita nak educate orang awam apa itu pil perancang, apa cara-cara lain untuk merancang dan betul ke pil perancang ni buat cancel? Betul ke? Okay, macam ni. Family planning atau perancangan keluarga ada orang dia cakap yang family planning ni deny rezeki Tuhan nak bagi. So, family planning ni penting untuk kita merancang keluarga. Nama pun merancang keluarga. Orang yang baru lepas beranak, especially yang Caesar, rahim dia masih lemah. Masih belum cukup kuat untuk menampung kandungan yang seterusnya. So, selalunya kita nasihatkan jalan yang terbaik adalah family planning at least sampai anak second tu umur 2 tahun. Baru kita boleh start proceed. Ha, lepas bersalin, lepas beranak, next akan discuss dengan Mak lah. Nak family planning, nak merancang macam mana? Nak macam ni ke, macam tu ke? Contraception ataupun perancang ni, kita boleh guna macam-macam cara. Yang paling tipikal pil lah. Hampir makan yang every morning, morning after pill. Morning after pill tu maksudnya, malam tu ada aktiviti. Tapi hampir lupa pakai protection. Pi farmasi beli morning after pill cepat-cepat untuk elakkan. Mengandung lah. Kita ada injection, kita ada intrauterine device. Lepas tu kita ada patch. Patch yang tempat. Patch ni, Air tak terlui, mandi wajib tak sah. Okay. Apa pendapat pribadi cik tentang family planning? Untuk orang perempuan, wanita-wanita, ibu-ibu muda di luar sana dan ibu-ibu yang tak berapa muda, hampa kena fikir, badan kita, kita jaga sendiri. Laki hampa tak bagi imam hampa makan pil perancang sebab tak mau menolak rezeki Tuhan. Hampa imagine lah, baru mengandung, baru beranak, perut tak kuat lagi, rahim tak kuat lagi, luka jek pun tak sembuh lagi, mengandung lagi. Hampa tak kesian ke kat badan hampa? Hampa tak kesian ke kat diri hampa? Lepas tu bila kata tak apa, kami mengamalkan cara alami. Azal. Azal tu tembak luar lah. Benda tu kontrol je pada lelaki. Kadang-kadang tak dapat kontrol. Ha, so kita sendiri jaga badan kita. Jangan sampai badan rosak, kesihatan punah, kita pun sakit, tak dapat nak entertain, cari lain. Apa pula pendapat cik tentang penggunaan pil perancang? Okay, so sekarang, pas apa orang kata pil perancang ni betul ke boleh menyebabkan kanser pil perancang ni? Dia sebenarnya in fact, bila makan pil perancang ni, dia sudah terbukti ada kajian mengatakan boleh mengurangkan risiko untuk mendapat tiga jenis kanser. Dikurangkan, dia bukan menyebabkan. So antara tiga ni, boleh mengurangkan risiko kanser rahim, boleh mengurangkan risiko kanser usus besar, boleh mengurangkan risiko kanser ovari. Untuk orang awam, siapa-siapa yang mungkin rasa diri dia mangsa untuk benda-benda macam ni, jumpa doktor dapatkan explanation betul daripada doktor sebelum hampa blast kat social media sebab kalau hampa salah, orang-orang lain pun akan dapat informasi yang salah dan benda ini adalah memudaratkan. Lepas tu, ramai orang jadi takut. Sebab itulah saya tak makan pil perancang. Big Pharma, agenda Yahudi. Lebih baik kita buat cara natural. Azal. Ha, macam tu.
masih belum terlambat untuk merancang keluarga. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to everyone. As you know, my name is Ku Muhammad Fir Rahman bin Ku Kamaluddin from the DBS 60 class. I will explain and tell everyone about this contraceptive pill in the form of healthy aspect, health aspect. Before that, I want to clear something to everyone because some people are too afraid to take this family planning piece or contraceptive pill because they were too trusted and believed by the myth mythos first people are going to questioning and asking about eating this family planning pill are not they afraid of getting fat letter but the facts is by according to dr john Tio bang ho an obstetrician and gynecologist is a woman takes a family planning pill it not only save life but it can improve the quality of life for the woman. The effect of edge, head edge, mood swings, and sexual desire are not caused by these pills, but it will disappear, disappear within three to six months after use. Basically, a healthy woman are, can take can take this pill without any problems and don't don't have to worry about side effect. This is because statistics have shown that 26% are afraid of side effects. 24% say they rarely have sex while another 20% say they breastfeed and the rest do not have a cross to family planning. And next, this, thus when taking these contra, contraceptive pills can cause of action. And the answer of this question, this mythos, mythos, mythos is acne can be worse if you are taking these contraceptive pills pills that, uh, that contain only the hormone progesterone if it gets worse you are advised to change the combination of the stable hormones to the patient this can reduce acne and can cure the duration between five or six months last one the last answer toward the myths when people questioning about the risk of her attack and stroke i want to counter about this question and statement that these contraceptive pills please don't be mistaken the impact on women the woman is not because of family planning but women over the age of 35 are at risk for a heart attack it is uh, similar to women suffering from high blood pressure and obesity especially the body mass index over 35 do not easily believe the myths my advice to everyone uh, is if you are over 35 or have had any illness you should consult your doctor prescription why some contraceptive uh, pills can be purchased from a pharmacy it is advisable to seek advice from those who are more knowledgeable than you if you intend to start taking them and if you want to make sure or not sure about something better you ask your physician to make it safer Okay, now I will explain about the advantage and benefits when using these contraceptive pills other than prevent pregnancy. The first one are reducing the, the risk of having uterine content. In addition, it can be helpful if there are period problems such as a multiple period, period pain, and PMS. You know PMS? After that, it also reduced the risk of developing uterine and ovarian cancer. And the last one is when a woman if is already monopause. This family planning pill can reduce bone density and which is a fragile bone. Then we do not forget when there are advantage, they must have disadvantage or bad effect toward this contraceptive pills. It's like pros and contrasts. There are three disadvantages when using these pills. The first one, the first disadvantage is miss period. Like in contrast to the side effect mentioned above, some women do not come to menstruation at the right time. 
if anything, it's just a few very small points. Although menstruation can also be affected by stress, illness, travel, or health problems such as the steroid. Taking contraceptive uh, pills can also be the cause of this problem. To be sure, do a pregnancy checkup next month and ask your do doctor if your menstrual cycle is still abnormal. Next, uh, uh, is dizziness. For example, there are some people feel nauseous after taking the first pill. However, uh, symptoms usually diminish after a while. Taking contraceptive pill with a bit of food sleeping and help you with this problem. However, if nausea gets serious and causes severe vomiting, please consult your doctor before proceeding with your next pill. And the last disadvantage about this pill is headache and it likes. According to a source, sex hormones have effect that can contribute to headache and migraine. Each type of pill and the specific dose of hormone it it contain can cause different headache. If the headache persists and worsen, ask your doctor if you should consider alternative contraception. Contraceptive. That's all from me to explain about this contraceptive pill. And I want to advise toward everyone to stay safe and take care wherever you are. Please stay healthy and I love you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hakim. Today we want to discuss about Islam perspective about hormone pills. Islam encourages its pupil to marry. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam also encouraged his pupil to marry a woman who was able to give a full love and able to give a birth. Every marriage, one a child has a wife, housewife. But because of a thing like economic problem and so on, we have a daily pregnancy. Now there, there are many type of pregnancy planning method can be an option. For views, method can be introduced including implant, constructive and injection. Constructive pill or better known as constructive pills has a way of pre preventing uh, popular Pre uh, in pregnancy among Malaysian women. However, there are still many Malaysians who want still subjection of using contraceptive pills, and there are still some misconception about it. In Islamic, also teach us how to prevent a pregnancy, such as Tazim al Usra, which is giving birth to a wife on a specific that and time, uh, the purpose of a rich pregnancy schedule according to which of a pause. The second one, annual cons uh, conclusion with a woman and the man is turned off. And the third one is azal, which is suppressed or even proven male sem, uh, sperm from entering woman ovary. Or third, Islam was always wanted a many population. In some case, it's uh, uh, possi uh, possibility that for a couple to plan for their family by using the system. However, there are a few uh, reasons must be included for uh, someone want to use that method. The uh, four reason uh, reason be highlighted in. The Islam, which is the first one, so that the mother have enough enough time for the next child, and the first being feeding period in a two years a per of in uh, in teach in Al Quran. The second one, if the mother is physically weak, she will not able to give a birth. The third one, if the mother or father have disease that can be effect to an unborn child. The fourth one, the economic reason for a family is just a property. 
in, uh, in particular by Hijatul Islam, Imam Ghazali, uh, have some words about this, which mean is worry about plugging into the valley of suffering because of the child hearing. Okay, what is the actual context of constructive spill? The constructive pill is called a hormone pill. Yes, this is a pill used by the mommy, mommy group to get a fair skin and beautiful body as a real woman. It contains estrogen hormone and some of combination with procedure hormone which help people to prevent uh, their penis. Most Islamic scholars include Responsible bodies, which is just a federal territory, Islamic religion department, Jawi, and the Selangor Islamic religion department, Jais, believe that the law of taking constructive pill should be subject of, to the concept of the husband. Sitting and accept from the local newspaper, Dr. Hazina Hijraj said that Islam do not ban indefinite pregnancy prevention method this including constructive pill injection or condom use according to he according to her is only served to daily the prevent the germs so that the couple is better prepared and is not for permanent also there is a sense of unacceptable if we view the Birth of baby is a, has a limitation of our substance. It also cannot be continued if if helpful to your or your household. Thank you. Kesimpulan yang dapat kita ambil daripada perbincangan dan kupasan yang dipaparkan sebentar tadi dapatlah kita fahami bahawa family planning dan penggunaan pil perancang bukanlah satu tindakan yang menidakkan rezeki daripada Tuhan tetapi adalah salah satu kaedah perubatan yang memberi manfaat kepada sesetengah pasangan yang menghadapi kesulitan dalam kehidupan rumah tangga. Terima kasih kerana menonton rancangan dokumentari ini dari awal sehingga ke akhir rancangan. Sebarang maklum balas bolehlah ditulis di ruangan komen. Akhir kata segala yang baik itu datang daripada Allah dan yang buruk itu datang daripada kelemahan diri kami sendiri. Akhir kalam, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera.